So I'm just on my way now, pretty excited about this, to go and see George Morgan, who is the head nutritionist at Saracens, and see what he's got to say about how he feels his team ready to perform week in, week out. So this is going to be interesting. Let's go. So the guys are just finishing training now. What will they be looking at post-session for fuel in their bodies? So once the players have finished training, we'd like to start that recovery process. So it's really important that we get some good quality protein on board to help them rebuild their muscles. We're aiming for about 40 grams of protein and in a high whey protein shake. We'd also hope that they would uh, recover well by rehydrating properly, so having plenty of um, palatable sports drinks as well as electrolytes, which is your salts, infused water. We'd also encourage them to get some carbohydrate on board because it's going to have worked really hard and we used up a lot of that muscle glycogen. So we encourage them to get some food on board and we also have that in the form of smoothies so they can drink it or some snacks that get that on board as well. So with those smoothies, what would they look? Would it be like oats, bananas, a bit of protein in there? Milk. Yeah, so we just use milk as our base and then blend in some bananas, maybe add some calories with some peanut butter, uh, but also build it on the base of that high protein whey powder. And you'd have to get... 40 smoothies lined up with you, is that how you organise it or do they have to just go to the, the cafe yeah, we, themselves? We, um, we, we'd set it all up for them and they can just come in and grab it so they don't have to worry too much about it, trust us what's in there and so they can get on their way. Amazing. So before a game, match days at three o'clock, what am I eating for breakfast if I'm going to play a full 80 minutes? So it's match day, so fuel is what becomes really important, and by fuel we mean carbohydrate. So we'll be encouraging the players to get a really high carbohydrate option in, for example, porridge, so a big bowl of porridge with some extra dried fruits in there. We'll start topping up those uh, energy stores. We'd also maybe encourage them to get some protein in, but something that's too heavy, so maybe some scrambled eggs or an egg white omelette, and accompany that with some, t some toast. If they're struggling to eat too much, we might go for a high carbohydrate fruit smoothie, so they can get that energy on board without feeling too full. Nice. And I spoke to Mako a few months ago and he mentioned he doesn't like start fueling on the day, he starts the day before. So is that something you encourage players to do is start eating beforehand? 100%. So we call that game day minus one and that's our main fueling day where we'll ask the players to con consume a high carbohydrate content with every meal that they have. This is to support their muscle glycogen on game day, but also to stop that necessity for overeating on game day where they might feel nervous. You also don't want to go into rugby into a rugby game where you're about to put your body on the line feeling like you've got a ton of in your belly nice so game's just finished 80 minutes in the bank we just won what are players looking to eat post game straight away and then as the night goes on obviously rugby has a big drinking culture as well so yeah okay so as soon as the game is finished we want to start that recovery process that um, i've mentioned before we'd get a high quality whey protein shake into them to start rebuilding those muscles. We'll also have some high palatable carbohydrate food um, available for them. So examples of that might be some burgers and wedges in the changing room so they can get into that quickly. Uh, maybe some pizzas, just so we're trying to get that food in quickly. We also want it to be nice and appealing because you know they've just worked really hard. We want to encourage them to eat. We'll also get some good vitamins and minerals on board. So potentially some fruit smoothies or omega-3, which is fish oil enhanced smoothies to aid with that soreness and recovery. Um, as the night goes on, we'd like them to repeat that process again because we'll think this recovery process will be going on for the next 24 hours. It's not just a case of what just happens straight after the game, but a couple of hours later getting another great feed on board, maybe some spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread, maybe their favourite pudding like a bit of apple crumble with vanilla ice cream, just to keep that refuelling process going so they come to the next training week feeling fresh and ready to go. Nice, that post-match sounds awesome. Garlic yeah, bread, bad. yeah, yeah all, the whole bad. lot. And uh, as well as the hydration side, um, mm -hmm. a lot of players like way before and way after it's, uh, a game. What is the, the purpose of that? Um, and how do you refuel that uh, water lost? Okay, so our purpose of weighing them before and after is to try and calculate that, that loss in fluid. So for every kilogram we see the players lose, we'd encourage them to get one and a half um, litres, so 1.5 litres of fluid on board, whether that's in sports drinks whether that's in water um, it's up to them but we're trying to reach to get them back to that sort of pre-game weight to ensure that we've met all those losses so with regard to supplements um, to accompany their meals what would you uh, advocate for players to to take Okay, so the first and most important thing is that they have a structured diet in place and that that's hitting as much as they can through food first. We then look at 
where we could support them. So maybe they're struggling to get protein. So like I've mentioned before, whey protein is a really easy uh, way to top up protein sources. I'd also think about losing something like creatine to aid their strength gains in the gym. It's one of the most well-researched supplements out there and it's safe and it's got a good bang for its investment. So, you know, you get what you pay for.